Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome to episode 7 of Showcase 600, the show where I have 600 seconds to convince you to buy a game. Fun fact, this is the earliest game we will ever play. This is from 1984, a time before Super Mario Bros. We are playing Ice Climber and I'm super excited because of course everyone knows this. Ice Climbers is a super popular player in Super Smash Bros. And it was revived from this NES classic. Which, it's not really a classic, but now it is because everyone likes Ice Climbers. But, with all that mumbo-jumbo out of the way, let's play this game. So I haven't played this too much, but Ice Climbers, it seems like a lot of fun. And I just paused it, dang it. Why am I so bad at this game? Anyways, there's an eggplant, that's funny. But, uh, yeah, Ice Climbers came out in 1984. As you guys heard, I don't think there have been any sequels to this game, and I'm serious. I think this game is just standalone. I mean, I haven't heard of any new Ice Climbers games, so I guess not. Of course, this game has been on tons of Nintendo memorabilia, and by that I mean things like retro throwback games, which there are a ton of. There are things like WarioWare, there is um, NES Remix, and this has been on the virtual console of, I think, the Wii, 3DS, and Wii U, if I'm not mistaken. But we go up here. Ooh, eggplants. Uh, I need them. Oh, dang it. <laughs> but this is how you... Oh, I did terrible. Jeez. I got 230 points. But you do climb up all these mountains, which it's fun. I mean, like, this is a game before Super Mario Bros. And I said Super Mario Bros. was basic. I literally thought I was supposed to collect this. What? Am I supposed to like hit them or something? What the heck? <laughs> this is terrible. No, I'm kidding. This game- Oh my gosh! <laughs> Why is this- What happens if you die? Let's just figure it out. Alright, so when you die, you get a game over. Ooh. Never would have expected that. So, it looks like once you get- I keep pausing it, man. I swear, I keep pausing this thing. This looks like, looks like we're terrible at this. Jeez, sorry, Ice Climbers. I'm doing you terrible right now. But, uh, ooh, we can go up the mountains. That's cool. What's the highest mountain we can go on? Well, it looks like you climb up all these mountains. 32? Let's do it, guys. Oh, this looks so difficult. All right. I'm not sure what I'm doing. Oh, but, uh, Ice Climbers, I just have this game. I don't play it. I'll be completely honest. I think you guys know that. Dang. Okay, this looks literally impossible. I can't... Wait, is there like air coming out or something? What the heck? I can't move. Help. Oh, I gotcha. Oh, that's weird. It propels us to the right. That is very weird. Oh, man. See if I could get this. Yo, if I could get this, it'll be the most satisfying thing that's ever happened to me. Dang it. I keep doing it way too late. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, dang it. Level 3. Oh, dang it. I got it. Level 32 of Ice Climbers completed is going on my resume. I swear. How many times have you completed Ice Climbers? Oh, once. Did you just skip? Yeah. Well, you're fired. What the heck just happened? Alright, uh, okay. I like, I like level 1 better. I like level 1 a lot better, guys. I like it way better than this garbage. Alright, let's see if I can beat this, though. I made it to 2 <laughs> second. Jeez, man. <laughs> this is a fun game. I'd rather be playing soccer than this. Like, literal NES soccer. What the heck? I'm doing a terrible job showcasing this game. Jeez, you guys can fire me if you want. But as we learned with Legend of Zelda, sometimes you gotta showcase games you don't like. Do you, does this make you guys wanna play this game? I hope it does, because it makes me want to die, but that's, that's fine. Oh, dang it. This game for experienced players, it probably looks amazing, but for me, for me it kinda just looks like I'm struggling all the time. What the heck? I can't even get up there now. Oh, there we go. Ah. Okay. Okay. I think we should go back to Mountain 1. 
I think that sounds a lot better. But, uh, jeez, what else can I say? Um, <laughs> but, yeah, this game is in, I think, probably, like, oh, I clicked the wrong mountain again. I think it's safe to say that every, like, retro Nintendo, like, showcase, I think this has been in, like, all of them, I should say. Oh, and you can, aw, it's, scre it's screen wraps, that's cute. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, I got the strat. I got it. I got this. I got this. Look at that. Look at that. Wabam. 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 Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me do this, man. I'm the best. <laughs> Never mind. Jeez, I did not remember this game being this bad. <laughs> Am I allowed to say that as a reviewer? <laughs> Welcome to Showcase 600, the show where I cry. Welcome to Showcase 600, the show where I tell you why not to buy games. <laughs> hey, at least the title's not Why You Should Buy Ice Climbers. It is Showcase 600, showing you games that you should not play. Jeez, I should show off, like, Cuphead and stuff. That would be funny. <laughs> I think I found the meta. Oh! Guys, I think I found the new meta. Alright, get away from me. Little fluffy boy. I haven't seen anything I recognize from Smash other than Popo and Nana. Or just Popo. Those are the characters' names, by the way. Popo and Nana. Um, they are orphans and their parents are at the top. But this game refuses to let you get to the top. Because it is showing a tough lesson in abandonment. And that is the story of this game. Popo and Nana are both adopted. That's right. Ooh. Oh. Oh no. Oh, that guy's in Smash in the state. What? Did he just help me? Oh, he just killed me. All right, but uh, <laughs> in the Ice Climber stage, which by the way, I hate that stage in Brawl. Oh man, it's terrible. But uh, the polar bear is in that stage, which is cool. I did recognize that. All right, let's be smart. There we go. Let's go back on Mountain One. But as as bad as I'm making this game look, it is it is fun to just goof around. Like if you don't take retro games seriously, it, it can be an absolute blast. Like look at this. Look at how fun this looks. Yay! I'm having so much fun right now. No wind, nothing. I I could beat this game. Just kidding. <laughs> I think I'd rather get my teeth pulled. Let's do the bonus again. I gave the bonus a bad name. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> Alright, I'm awful at level one. This is not good. Alright, let's do the bonus. <laughs> what? <laughs> Sorry, Popo. I'm trying, man. What am I doing wrong? Excuse me, Ice Climbers fan base. I need help. This game seems real popular. Oh dang it! Uh, comment down. By the way, you should do this on every Showcase 600 episode. But comment down if you're a fan of Ice Climbers, because I'm curious. Like any any diehard Ice Climber fans of like this game and the rest of the series, if there even is the rest of the series. Because I honestly have no idea. I want to I want to know your thoughts. Because this game, I mean, like I'm. I'd rather be playing anything else, but I mean, like, hey, I'd do this over, like, doing my taxes. Does that, does that in pique your interest? This is better than doing taxes. Ah, I got one thing. Yes, I did. That's right. Bam. Yeah, that's right. I got a bonus. Ooh, level three. Ooh. What? I do like how you spawn on the level you died on, though. That's cool. Yo, I just destroyed that bird. Out of here, bro. Is this like Popo's job? Is this profession to climb ice? Because if so, I want this. Ah, I did get one cabbage, though. Is that a cabbage? I don't know. Who knows, man? But what I do know is that 
it is the end of this episode of Showcase 600. Should you guys play this game? Probably not. If you guys are a fan of this game, that's good for you. I can see why you're a fan. It can it can be fun. But it's not my cup of tea. So anyways, guys, thank you for watching this episode of Showcase 600. And I will see you guys in the next episode where hopefully we tackle something a little more bearable. Peace out, guys.